we went to uh, Brazil, it, you know, you had this, well, you know, if things go bad, then at least we get a chance to, you know, go for gold again, which is unlike any other kind of X Games experience I've had. And Brazil was the first time that I, that I was just felt like I was at the mercy of whatever will be, will be. Barcelona is an amazing city. I've never been here before, it's my first time. I've been to Madrid, pretty hard hitting city. But Barcelona has some hard areas, but it's got so much culture and history. You just walk around and, and look at some of the, the churches and buildings and architecture. And, um, and then kind of the new section, you know, the W Hotel out there on the water and with its own nude beach. And uh, I mean, it's like, uh, there's a lot going on in Barcelona, I'll say that. Impromptu like media day, and um, and a cool little track. It's like a go kart track. Looks like the ballsiest go kart track ever, but it had all, all kinds of elevation. I can't imagine the G's a go kart would pull out here. So it was uh, very cool. Um, basically, just beat the hell out of the cars. This surface will be nothing like the surface that we'll find in the Barcelona. I've got uh, at least three hours in the last sleep in the last 48 hours so yeah I'm a, little, I'm a little tired but you know it's actually I'm more tired from just getting out of the car because when you know when you're in the car and you're you're ripping it's whatever you could it doesn't seem to matter it could you're wide awake but um, five minutes after you get out of the car there's this big sigh and then it's suddenly like oh man that's uh you kind of hit a little bit of a wall Interesting thing about X Games going international, certainly the culture has a huge effect. On it. Like you go to Brazil and you start a loud engine up, 20,000 people show up to listen to it. Spain, they're the same, they have the same passion. And I've been lucky to race in Europe before, in Portugal, Spain, um, even uh, like Nordic countries especially. They are such fanatics over just anything fast, you know? And um, for that reason, the rally event, which is in a massive stadium, is sold out, pre-sold out tonight. And it's like 35,000 people, it's unbelievable. Uh, they've never had the event here. And just because they know that it's gonna be some fast cars driving around a cool track, 35,000 people show up. So I love that you get the passion of the culture into the event and the fans are, I mean, they, they bring the energy of their local culture into the race. You can, 35,000 people, you can hear it in the car. You can feel it before the start, and it makes you nervous, which, I, which is good. Once we got into it, and once we got out on the clay and we drove on the track, really glad they didn't run that race. It was so slow and so boring, and events got canceled all over the place. I went to go watch freestyle, and, and that was canceled. Um, so I feel really bad for the, the locals that, that came out for you know the X Games show and didn't get it. But um, we're moving on to the next one, and and... I think ESPN is realizing why they do X Games in LA, because the weather's awesome. Swipe went off from Spain, but now it's kind of back to real world real quick. Uh, the house project is finally actually going to break ground. So that, uh, that's where we're at. I mean, let's get dirty. Let's tear this thing down and let's get this started. I can't wait. You know, it was 10 years ago that I could fit everything I owned into the back of my pickup truck. and. Um, was not the kind of person that committed into buying things. Still am not, and so it's very hard for me to bite off on a, on a house in an expensive type of area. But I really like the idea for you know family and for friends and stuff like that to be able to come out here and, and have like a, a little destination play area. 
so I'm stoked for that. But it, I'm working with Chrissy Beavis, who's my old co-driver from Rally Racing, who turns out is also an extremely talented architect. I've really found that I like, um, I like concrete, wood, and glass. I like those elements. Um, but it's been really cool. This has been the first house that I've ever kind of gone through and done plans with from the beginning. And um, it, it's kind of a cool process to tie in your own ness into something. It's because I've, I've been shopping for a house for a long time. But when you build something, like I can put a garage on the second floor. So like where the garage comes in, one car will go up and uh, will sit in the second floor right over up there. And from the hallway up there, there'll be, it'll be the old 912 that I have, the, the yellow 912 will sit up in the second floor. But, uh, it's just a unique time for a buyer, I think. I, I normally would not be able to afford something like in this area, and, and so it seemed like something that had to be done. And eventually I'm hoping somebody here figures out how to get around the no wake rule so that these little lightweight airplanes that have foldable wings become legal to take off and land in Newport Harbor because you can fit one in this slip. Just motor your ass out there, take off, go shoot a commercial Mojave, come back. That's the absolute baller lifestyle there. But um, not gonna happen, but it still is a good pipe dream to have. I really, it, there's, a, there's a lifestyle that you are uh, moving into when you live near the water. I grew up sailing boats, um, but I like motorboats too, and so I'm looking forward to kind of being on the water here. Uh, we're going to pit each of our winners against each other in a series of four battles, and uh, my battle is up first, and the winner is going to take home 50 grand and basically get like a kickstart in their motorsport career. Pretty amazing.